Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Well, here in Champaign, now, that great cloud Central cover has been a little stubborn for us across the region, and that's continuing to be the case here as we look out and about. Temperature sits at 48 right now, though. It is mild out there. That west wind keeps on bringing that mild air in. It does make it feel like 42, but you know what? We should be in the 30s and 20s, and we are looking at 50s this afternoon in many areas for highs. I also get a little more optimistic, thinking maybe some more sunshine can peek on through. I'll call it mainly cloudy. We'll say that maybe there's some clearing, and let's just hope that we don't jinx it. I don't like go the other way and say, yeah, I expect some sunshine, and then it stays gray. So, you know, we're playing that game, right? Uh, so cloudy. Hopefully we get some lucky folks out there. Temperature will be 52 in Champaign for a high today, 52 in Monticello, 50 in Clinton. On our way to 59 in Vandalia, there's already some spots close to 60 down towards I-70. Effingham checked in at 57. That's about where the high should be for the day. Maybe a little warmer, in fact. 53 in Charleston, 52 in Tuscola. Whatever sunshine we get today will be bonus sunshine. Those clouds are going to fill back in tonight. And we also could mix in a little bit of patchy fog. We're down into the low 30s here. That west wind still in place, a little lighter, turns even lighter lighter and out of the south and west tomorrow, only five to 10 miles an hour. I think there'll be a little fog in the morning. If there's not, we should have a nice sunny day for our Wednesday. So if you don't get what you want today, sunshine wise, tomorrow is your day. Future track here shows some decent clearing out there, but here come those clouds as we go into this afternoon into tonight, filling back on into the region. Tomorrow morning, there's a mix. There's some spots of gray here. I think that's some patchy fog trying to develop. I also think there's still some pockets of low clouds, but it erodes away quickly, giving us some sunshine as we go through Wednesday, midday, and afternoon. Thursday, we'll be back under clouds when we start our day. Clouds will continue to increase, but the rain holds off until late morning into the afternoon. I think it could come in a couple of rounds, some scattered shower activity. Thursday, late morning into the afternoon should lift on through. We might not get a lot from that. The better chance for rain may be north and west, but then once we get late afternoon into the evening, we may watch some thunderstorms roll our way. That could put some quick downpours in a few spots here and there. And then even into Thursday night past 6 p.m., we may have some more storm activity. Once we get to about midnight to 1 a.m., I think it's mainly out of here, but there will be some lingering activity into early Friday morning before we clear that out as well. Now, storm system wise, this is an impressive and very dynamic system. There is a lot of wind energy aloft here, a lot of wind shear. That's favorable for severe weather. The question is, though, again, what's going to be at the surface and stability wise? Some of our guidance is trying to sneak a little bit in and it doesn't take much to cause uh, this to get out of control here. Is this enough? We'll see here. We're again looking at the fine line at this point. Unlike last event where I thought mm, we're going to cross that line. This one we may fall just shy of hitting that needed line for severe weather. So we'll keep a close eye on it here. Uh, I still think that the odds are against it at this point, but I wouldn't rule it out with such a dynamic system. Some of the guidance trying to shift it just a little more northwest with the low. That's favorable for severe weather. Also trying to sneak in a little instability there Thursday evening into Thursday night. That also would be favorable severe weather. So we'll just watch and see what trends are here. Uh, don't forget also Saturday, another little system comes on through. So there'll be a break Friday in between. That's mainly a rain event, but we may see the other side of the coin there. Get a little wintry mix coming in in some spots Saturday before that cooler air settles on in. And then Sunday will really chill things down. We'll be down to a high of 34. I don't think the cold is going to actually be as significant as we thought here, though, as we go into next week. I got 43 back for Monday there, so get a quick little down, but still maybe some 40s for highs in the next week. They're not bad. Of course, Thursday's that day to watch. We just have to keep an eye on things here. Again, never trust a winter storm system <laughs> with spring temperatures. That is so, so true. That just going to keep so an eagle true. eye on it. We'll watch it. If there's any issues like that, we'll let you know. All righty. Jacob, thank you so much.